All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to update your Android tablet or phone to a browser that supports Flash. Even though Adobe does not support Flash anymore on Android tablets, um, the application is still available from alternate sources outside of the Play Store, and that will allow you to play like Facebook games and watch YouTube videos and such. You just need to you know, install the new application. So the first thing you need to do, of course, power on your device. Um, you can open up your web browser, go to the link that's going to be below the video in the notes, and that will take you to our website with the full step-by-step -step description of how to do this that we're going to show you how to do on the video, but you can follow along on the website if you'd like. Um, first thing you need to do is find out which version of Android your device is working and running. Uh, so to do that, you'll go into your individual device's settings tab, go down to the very bottom of the list, and it's either going to say about tablet or about phone, and then right in this section, it's going to tell you which Android version. This particular tablet is a Samsung Galaxy tablet, and it's running Android version 3.1. We'll need that so that we can get the proper version of Flash uh, downloaded onto the tablet to make it operational. We're going to go back into the browser. Now that we've done the Know Which Android version, you scroll down a little bit further on the page, and it tells you how you need to go into security to enable downloading and installation of files from unknown sources. Basically, that means installing an application outside of the Google market. And so we'll go back into our settings. And you want to go to, on version um, 2 and 3 of Android, you go into Applications. And make sure it's checkmarked by Unknown Sources, where it says Allow Installation of Non-Market Applications. And when you click it the first time, it's going to give you a warning saying, Are you sure? Just tell it, Yes, you are. And then you'll be ready to go on that. Now we'll go back into our browser. And you can scroll down a little bit further. And it tells you, the next thing that you'll need to do is install the Dolphin browser. The browser that comes on a lot of the Android devices, especially the newer ones, the um, browser does not support Adobe Flash even if you install the application. So you need to make sure that you get a browser that does. Uh, the Dolphin browser is a good installation. So while you're in the um, web browser that comes with the unit, you can click on the link. It's going to start the download. Once the download completes, and click over here, it's showing the progression of the download. Once the download is complete, and it says complete, if you click on that, it'll bring up the installation program and just tell it to install. Now it's going to install that, and then we can tell it done. Then we scroll down, and if you notice, there's two different versions of Android with links. If your device is using in uh, Android 2.2, 2.3, or 3, any of the three versions, you click on the top link. If, you're in, if your Android version is 4, 4.1, 4. or 4.2, which will be um, ice cream sandwich or jelly bean versions, then you'll click on the bottom link. And so we're just going to click on that top link. Again, it's going to start the download. <coughs> we can go over here and watch the progression of that one. Once it finishes its download, we can click on the installation file. It's telling you it wants to install Adobe Flash Player 11.1. And now we're done with that one. Now you can exit out of your stock browser. And when you go into Applications, you'll see a new application that says Dolphin Browser. If you click on that, and hit accept. We don't want to import any bookmarks or anything. Up at the top it says flash support. Make sure it says always on. And then where it says perform as Android phone, desktop, iPhone, or iPad. In most cases it's best to tell it to perform as a desktop. Um, that way you get the standard web page, not one that's designed for a mobile device. 
Um, if you're using an Android phone, you can use it, you know, leave it on Android phone, but if you're using a larger tablet type device, click on the desk, desktop, you'll get a better web experience. Next, we click the next in the top corner, and then click finished at the bottom, and let's see. Actually, we want to click, click skip if you don't want to enter your e uh, email information and get on their mailing list. And now, if you go to a website that is flash enabled, or we can go back to our the link. Click on. Android device. Go back to that article. At the bottom of the article there's a test link that you can use to test out your new flash on your device. Let me just scroll down to the bottom of the page and the last URL link within the topic is a test page. Should load it up, and we see the bouncing flash logo showing the flash is installed. And if you notice over here, it says you have installed flash version 11.1.11.24. All ready to go. Now you can enjoy uh, YouTube videos. Um, you can enjoy you know playing games on Facebook and such as that. Be sure to uh, check back or subscribe to our video channel for other interesting how-tos and informational videos.